Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about how uh, RAID 5 um, data redundancy system works. I'm just going to give you a basics and um, really simply RAID 5 is one of the more popular uh, RAID versions especially on a, a beginner server or what they call an entry level, level server which isn't uh, a company that has like 20 machines on a rack but a smaller company that requires a server you'd either have mirror, mirror is the most simplest one but it doesn't have the speed as RAID 5 where mirror would be um, simply what they call RAID 1 and uh, which is just two drives and everything that's here it's here but it has to copy the data so it takes a lot of time. Let's imagine one bit of data takes one second to write. So if we have one byte in here, that's eight seconds plus eight seconds, that's 16 seconds. This is just hypothetical, of course. Now, um, RAID 0 is the quickest because RAID 0, though it uses two drives, it quickly puts out of one byte which is four bits well eight bits I apologize it puts half in here and half in here alright and uh, the controller actually does the writing at the same time if you have a hardware controller which is what is always recommended on a server uh, so you're done half the time because all four is written on both drives at the same time via the controller but I'm going to talk to you about RAID 5 and how it reconstructs its data. RAID 5 requires a minimum of three hard drives. Minimum. The more drives, the better. On a three drive setup, the max you can have is a failure of one drive. And it continues to operate. The more drives you have, the better because you have chances of two drives going and your data is still intact and how does it do it the basics basics works like this here's the three drives let's draw them out this would be drive one drive two drive three okay three drives <clears throat> and we're only going to deal with one byte of data which is eight bits all right let's say this is our data one 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 zero zero one zero zero all right raid five works with a system uh, a parity system that all it does it verifies if data matches I will show you how this works okay we're all dealing with one sector so here we go we're going to split this data up first the first two bits one goes on this hard drive the next one goes to the second hard drive now here's where the magic comes the parity check drive. All this is split among the three drives if that's your configuration. Does bit one and bit two match? Are they matching? Yes. So, yes. One. Okay? The next two bits. So one and a zero. Parity? Do these two match? No. Next, zero one. 0, 1. Do these two match? No. Your parity is 0. And then the last one, 0, 0. 0, 0. Do these two match? Yes. Your parity is 1. Now, <clears throat> when you retrieve the data, it rebuilds it. Let's go retrieve that data. So, what do we have? We have this is our data and this is our parity. It doesn't need it. Um, it's 1, 
one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. We have a match. Not a problem. That was easy. But let's now say we have a drive failure. And here's where the RAID 5 does its magic. We are going to crash one of the drives. It doesn't matter which one. All right. Let's say let's crash the first one. The first drive has crashed, so we don't know what the data is. So what do we do? We got to construct the data. This is simple. The computer requests the data, <coughs> and we don't know the first one. We know the second one. We don't know. Because this is what we have. So we go to the parity. Parity says that the data did match. All right, it did match. Then that means there was a one here. Parity here says it did not match with this one. All right, so what's the opposite of that? If it didn't match, is a one. This one says it didn't match. So it's the opposite of this one, is a zero. And then this one says it did match. The parity bit says it did match. So what's the match of that? Zero. So we remove the underline so it doesn't look so confusing. And we just rebuilt the data. It's a perfect match. Alright, let's say drive two crashed. Alright, bam. And all we have is drive one and the parity drive. No problem. Let's build our data again. They're requesting from sector one. <coughs> and uh, we have first data is one. I don't know what the second one is, but the parity says that it was a match. So the match of that is a one. The second one. Uh, we know part of our data is a 1, it says it's not a match, then it's a 0. Then we have 0, and then this one says is not a match for the missing one, so it's a 1. And then the next data bit is a 0. I don't know what it, the next one was, but the parity bit tells me it was a match. This, of course, when this is happening, it's in degraded mode. The actual controller is doing all this mathematics in its system before it sends the requested data to the computer's motherboard. All right. And uh, that's why they call it degraded mode, because the board is actually reconstructing this data for the computer. And it's slower because it has to produce all this math. <clears throat> but that's more into advanced raid but let's now do this let's crash the third drive anytime there's a drive that's crashed in the raid it goes into degraded mode but this one's actually really easy because it's our parity drive that has lost its data but it doesn't matter because without we don't really need the parity if we have these two drives uh, bit one, next bit, and here, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. That was very fast to reconstruct. It matches. It's a perfect match. But because right drive three is dead, we lose our data redundancy. <clears throat> so now we're in danger of losing our data if we lose one more hard drive. An example of that is destroy another drive, whichever one you want, this one. We will be missing data bits. And we don't have a parity to reconstruct it. We don't have a drive one to see what's missing. This is a crashed system. There is no way around this. You just cannot rebuild this. That's why you and you must always check the health of your RAID drives. So make sure that the smart hasn't kicked in. 
make sure that it's not on the graded mode. The graded mode just means one of the drives has failed and it's actually the controller or the software doing all the mathematics to rebuild that data. Now once you have a crash drive, this is just an extra, once you have a crash drive and you replace that drive, the system will actually rebuild the new drive. <clears throat> Rebuilding works by the same system but it's the whole drive. In other words we have drive one and we have the parity so this is a brand new drive. Alright let me change the color just for example here. Just so we know it's a different drive you must match what you had before. Alright number two that's a brand new drive we want to reconstruct the data or rebuild it. <clears throat> drive one, all right, it was a one. Parity, we know it matched, so it's a one. Next one was a one, it did not match, so it's a zero. Next one's zero, it did not match, it's a one. Next one's a zero. Parity says it matched. There we go. <clears throat> and we have now officially rebuilt the data and now we have all three drives going and we'd be in good standing or good status and that's how that works that is the simplest way I can explain to you how a RAID 5 reconstructs data from its crash drive thank you for watching